a special package in the mail and I was gonna set up for it and I thought I got, would take you guys along with me while I'm setting up for it. So welcome to our channel, Serenity Mountain Farm and I'm Michelle and just a few seconds ago I got a package And so, as you guys know, we sold all of our quill. Um, I was kind of nervous to butcher them. I got them from a lady, and I'm really not sure what they were fed. They kind of stopped laying on me. We would get, I mean, we had 22, and... Some days they would lay, some days they wouldn't. Some days they would, some days they wouldn't. And we were gonna butcher them and we decided just to sell them. So I sold them to a friend of mine because she sells them at the farmer's market that I don't attend. So without further ado, you're seeing it when I see it. So we got some quilt eggs from AJ Farm and we got our quilt egg scissors from them and I've been watching a lot of his videos because I was really nervous about raising quail and butchering them. I don't even know if we like them but I just thought if I could hatch out babies on my own and I know what they're fed. I know what kind of life they have. That's just one more um, milestone for us here on the farm. And I have some clients that buy some quilt eggs from us because they like to pickle their own. So a win-win on both sides. So I haven't got my incubator set up yet. Uh, the one I have is from Tractor Supply, and it's called Nature Route 360. Um, I had a Brisnia. I sold it because I didn't think we would do this thing called farm slash homestead slash whatever you want to call it. But evidently, we are. So, let's take a look down in here. I about dropped it. So... I incubate in the upstairs bedroom when we don't have company and my daughter just left and that's where I incubate so I'll get my incubator set up right there I'll plug it in I won't turn that fan on my daughter was just here because we had a wedding in Kentucky because my son got married um, because nobody's in this room, it stays a certain degree. I can come up here and check it. There's not a lot of rattling going on. So, um, this is what I received. AJ Farm. That's my receipt. So, the packaging is looking good. Um, these are Jumbo Meat Corn Ticks. So... There's some. We got 40. And then they put padding in between. Here's another set. I'm so excited to get these going today. Um, that. I missed them. Um, I'll show you guys our quilt aviary later on. So they put packaging in the bottom. A layer, more packaging, a layer, packaging, and then more packaging. So I was super excited, excited. There's none broken at all. So I was, I'm thankful about that. So let's get this incubator set up. I will bring you guys right back when I go get the box. Okay, so I've got my incubator set up right here we have to fill um section a right now because that's the only section 
that requires it to be filled and I always do it I always spill it so now I need to set it on the floor so that I'm not spilling it and I may even go ahead and just lift this up for now and get this in for a second to get some I filled it too full so I know which section is A and which section is B because we just hatched olive eggers. So um, this one you don't have to pour water in, but every 24 hours, I come up here and check it several times a day though, just because I'm anal. So there's that in. Now let's get this hooked, hooked back in. I'm gonna plug it up and I'm gonna do a test run to make sure my turner is working. All right. So you can see my turner is working. And I'm gonna set it back up here. And then this incubator is designed to where it can hold one chicken egg or two quilt egg. So we're gonna get our quilt eggs in and let's get started. So I'm gonna to try to set you guys up here. So if you can give me just one second to get you situated and we'll get this whole shebang going. I'm sorry. I'm gonna have to get back in the groove of filming again. So you'll have to be patient with me. It's been a while. I've just filmed stuff on my phone just for us to have and um, so let me slide you over just a little bit okay so that's what it's gonna be until I'm finished. So I got a piece of padding under it and we're gonna get this thing loaded. So I'm gonna go around and I'm just gonna do one for now and then I'll come back in and fill in more um, with an other batch. This is the first time I've used this incubator for quilt eggs, so we'll see what happens. Um, the last time I got some eggs and tried, we used the Brisnia and it went very well. And like I said, we sold it and I didn't think we would get back into the farm life, but that's my dream and my want. And so, we just start it again. And now that I've got my business up and going, my farm name, my farm number, um, it just seems more of a reality because the other time I was just dreaming and really not, I didn't have my goals prioritized, I guess. Um, I felt like I needed well, I did want it all right from the get-go. I don't want to wait. I want it all now. And I realize, <laughs> I 
you can't do it all at once because it makes everything overwhelming and um, I was ready to throw in the towel. I mean, there was some days that I would just, you know, sit down and cry because I knew I was never going to get anywhere and I just gave up on my dream and I had to reevaluate some goals and um, really nail down what we were wanting as a couple and, you know, where we were going to go in life and my husband knew that I had always wanted a farm ever since we had started dating and so you just put one foot in front of the others and I put my big girl panties on and we're at it. I mean, little by little, I'm not overwhelming myself now. I'm just, you know, biting off little bits here and there because I realize that you can't have it all right now. You know, you have to work toward it and you have to learn certain skills you know, before you even progress on to the next level. Um, that in itself is a ton, you know, the skills in general. So, okay, so it's loaded now and it is fixing to be on lockdown. So, lockdown mode is in place and we need to raise the humidity so i have a little temperature thing temperature uh the humidity and then um here's the days so i know that most most quilt eggs are about 17 days i think to hatch so my humidity is going to have to be 45 to 55% and my temperature is going to have to be 99.5. So I'm going to come back and forth and check on this for a while because as you see my temperature, my humidity is already going up. So I'll have to play with this trigger right here until, you know, I get it like right at 55. So in about an hour i'll come back and check on it but day one so the quill are in lockdown thank you very much aj quill farm i uh, look forward to seeing what we can hatch out of these eggs so i will see you guys on the next video and i hope you have a wonderful day and i hope you guys join us again we've decided i talked to my husband um you know it was a hard journey at first and you i realized that you just keep plugging away at youtube either you like it or you don't um you just treat it like a job and that's what i'm gonna do along with my many other jobs so um i enjoyed it i enjoyed the friendships that i made so i hope you guys come along on our little farm journey and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day.